<laughs> there's been a dramatic take-up of Swift Go, the new service that enables small businesses and consumers to send predictable, highly secure, fast and competitively priced low-value cross-border payments from their bank accounts. Since its launch in July, more than 100 banks from across the world have signed up for Swift Go, and 10 are already live with the service. Well, Swift Go is a key building block in the cooperative strategy to enable instant and frictionless transactions across its network. It has the potential to be transformative in enabling greater financial inclusivity, supporting SMEs in emerging economies, and for individuals sending remittances internationally. And joining us now for more on this are Sebastian Rojas, Head of Product Payment Solutions at Swift, and Ralph Susi, Head of Strategy for Enterprise Payments at BBVA. Welcome to Cybos TV, to the both of you. It's great to have you here. Uh, Sebastian, if I can start with you, if I may. Swift GPI is a success, but what, what is Swift Go and why now? Hello, everyone, and it's a pleasure to, to be here. Well, GPI is a success, you said it. Today, when we look at our network, uh, we, we are close to 90% of all cross-border payments being sent by GPI banks. So it's really a massive success. And what we did with GPI was really to solve this problem of what we call the black box in cross-border payments, uh, bringing transparency, bringing speed, and, and changing completely the way that we were doing uh, cross-border payments before. If you think five years ago, uh, it was completely difficult or very difficult to see what was happening with, with cross-border payments. Now, when you look at the main benefits of GPI, we're mainly looking at high-value payments and we're mainly looking at corporations. And we understand that when we look at, uh, if you want lower in the pyramid and we look at SMEs and when we look at consumers, GPI was not necessarily delivering the same value. And when we were listening to the sessions today at Cybos, we started hearing about this payments of optionality, really understanding what are the requirements of a specific uh, segments. And when we think about SMEs and when we think about consumers, we know that it's not only about being able to execute the payment end to end, but it's also about providing predictability upfront, understanding how much this payment will cost, uh, ensuring that the experience would be the same end to end, that the beneficiary would receive the same amount that was sent or that was expected to be received by, by the beneficiary, and all that in a simple way, something that it does not sound any, any easy uh, at all, and that we've been challenging, if you want, the industry already for quite a few years to be able to achieve that. So SwiftGo is that, is the solution for low value payments, ensuring that we bring a simple solution, predictability upfront, and hopefully also lowering down the cost associated of doing cross-border payments. And let's follow on with this because, Ralph, BBVA, it's now live with Swift Go. It's helping to transform the experience for customers and also SMEs on low-value payments. But what were the key drivers that led your business, BBVA, to actually sign up with Swift Go? Yeah. Uh, hello. Uh, thank you for your, uh, your invitation. So BBVA was one of the first banks to launch Swift GPI in 2017 and uh, the first banks in Spain and Peru to offer this service through our electronic channels. This allowed us to improve our product and to make a qualitative leap in the experience of our customer. In recent years, we have continued to participate in other GPI initiatives, uh, such as uh, G4C, uh, GPI for Corporate, which allows large companies to have a much more detailed tracking to in, uh, for, of their operation. In my opinion, uh, with GPI, a new benchmark has been defined in the world of cross-border payment, especially in high-value payments, as uh, Roja has mentioned. Uh, for BBVS, ShiftGo is a further step in the same path, allowing us to improve our services, this time directed to uh, more to, to, um, toward the world of small business and, uh, and consumers. We have integrated uh, ShiftGo to continue advancing in the transformation of our cross-border payments, capitalizing on what we have been building with the different GPA initiatives since 2017, but also to be able to complement our cross-border payment services with a product more targeted to a specific segment of clients, improving their experience such as predictability, which in addition to speed of processing, allows them to know in advance the final amount to deliver, the cost and exchange rates of the transaction. Also, the, the, the possibility that the sender and receiver could track in real time their payment to the same channel they use for all their payments will permit them to focus on their day-to-day -day business. 
We believe that with SWIFT Go and the future incorporation of other institutions to this initiative will make this type of payment faster and more convenient than ever. Sebastian, how do you see this at a community level? Where's the value? Well, I, I can only echo what uh, Rauf was, was saying. When we start talking about GPI in the different communities, in the different regions, we start seeing uh, a clear call for action, as we, as we did five years ago when we introduced GPI. And, and the call to action was very simple. We need to provide a solution as a community that is removing the barriers for smaller players or, or SMEs and consumers to send cross-border payments from their bank accounts. We see a lot of fragmentation. We see wallets. We see new services coming out. And in, in a way, banks, they, they really had to react. And, and we see this call to action happening from the multiple uh, regions of the multiple countries joining SWIFT GPI and, and SWIFT Go. Now, when you look at the, the main issue we're trying to address here is how can we fulfill the promise that banks they do to their clients? I want to transfer this amount. I want to be sure that this amount is received on, on the other side by the beneficiary. And when we look at low value, banks, they didn't really have a single standard or a single solution that allows to do that. We could see in a specific regions or at domestic level solutions that were fairly standardized. But when we look at a larger scale, this was just not working. So banks could not offer this solution um, to their customers. Uh, a good example of that is what we what we know as guaranteed hour. It's a, it's a model that allow banks uh, to offer a service to clients saying you pay a specific amount and then you would be able to, 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 if you want to transfer the money, ensuring that this is what the beneficiary will receive. But what happened with guaranteed hour is that is not a model that is used globally. It's used and supported by specific regions or specific countries. And when you're talking about cross-border, you need a global standard. And this is, if you want, why SWIFTGO is so important. It's bringing this multilateral agreement, helping banks to fulfill the needs of their customers and enabling them to have full transparency and predictability for their payments as well. And Ralph, I can see you nodding in agreement to what Sebastian was saying just there, but let's broaden things out as well by looking at cross-border payments. What are the main client needs or complaints in that area? And how does Swift Go improve the customer experience? Because the bottom line is that that is what it is all about, making smooth the customer, the customer journey. Mm -hmm. So if we analyze the customer need for any transaction, we can see that there are three essential elements to take in account. Certainty, uh, which, uh, which ensures that the fund reach the beneficiary in a secure way, speed in the execution. And here, the main trend is real time in processing and tracking in everything and transparency, knowing all the information like cost and time in advance. These three elements do not have the same importance for all clients. For example, for a large company, the certainty of uh, the execution of transaction is more important than speed. But for a consumer or a very small company, as they do not have sophisticated tools to manage their liquidity, speed of execution and cost are two important drivers to take in account. To these three points, we can add a fourth one, which is a convenience or simplicity to, of use. Traditionally, international transactions have been shrouded in mystery the absence of a common standard in different countries, the large number of players involved, um, involved make a, the processing and monitoring of international payments a complex process to manage. With SwissGov, we have the possibility to offer to our customer, especially the small one, a tool that allows them to manage their cross-border payments in a simple way, to know in advance all the data of the operation, cost, time, FX rights, Additionally, with the SLA defined between the participants, the speed of the execution is substantially improved and the rate of possible error decrease, reducing at the same time uh, manual interventions. Well, gentlemen, it's been a fascinating chat. Uh, thank you so much for joining us here on Cybos TV. Sebastian Rojas, Head of Product Payment Solutions at Swift, and Ralph Susi, Head of Strategy for Enterprise Payments at BBVA. We do wish you both a fantastic Cybos 2021.